Algebra 2, this is Chapter 5, Section 8. Um, this is the second part, Solving Inequalities, and I broke this one off by itself because this one's a little bit longer. It's got two radicals in it. So we are going to have to get the first radical by itself and square both sides and then get the second radical by itself and then square both sides, so it's a little longer process. So let's start with the, our first assumptions. So we know that b plus 12 has to be greater than 0 at this point. So b plus 12 is going to be greater than or equal to 0. And you know that b has got to be greater than or equal to 0. So in this case, you know that b has got to be greater than or equal to negative 12. And you also know that b has to be greater than 0. If it's both of these, right, there's an and. Um, if it's greater than negative 12 and it's greater than 0, then it just basically has to be greater than 0, so we're going to keep that one. Then you're ready to work the problem. So we know that the square root of b plus 12 minus the square root of b has to be greater than 2. So I'm going to get my first inequality by itself, or my first um, radical by itself, by adding b to both sides. So let me add square root of b here and add the square root of b here. And you get the square root of b plus 12 is going to be greater than the square root of b plus 2. At this point, you're ready to square both sides to get rid of the radical on the left. So when I square this side, I have to square this entire side. So that makes this b plus 12 is greater than, and when I square the side, I basically am going to have to FOIL, in case you rem unless you remember your, your formulas here. So square root of b times square root of b is going to be b. Square root of b times 2 is plus 2 square roots of b. 2 times square root of b is plus 2 square roots of b and 2 times 2 is 4. Then you can combine your middle terms here. So you get b plus 12 is greater than b plus 4 square roots of b plus 4. Then you're ready to start getting this second, this square root of b over here by itself. So I'm going to subtract the b from both sides and I'm just going to subtract the 4 from both sides and I end up with just 8 on this side greater than 4 square roots of b. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 4, and I get 2 is greater than the square root of b. And so when I square both sides, I get 4 is greater than the square root of b. So now I know from above, b has to be greater than 0, and b has to be less than 4. So then you want to test values. You want to test something that's less than 0, something that's between 0 and 4, and something that's greater than 4 to get your three test values. Um, so we could test a negative 1. So if I put a negative 1 up here, yeah, that doesn't work out real well. Why don't we test something that actually works out? So um, what's a perfect square 9? So if I tested negative 3, right, negative 3, so if this were a negative 3, that would be 9. Square root of 9, I want to rewrite this. Okay, so I've rewritten my problem here, so then I can try. We're going to test negative 3 first. So that would be the square root, if I put a negative 3 in here and a negative 3 in here. Um, square root of negative, that would be a positive 9 minus the square root of negative 3. But we don't know how to take the square root of negative 3, so that one doesn't work. So that, that definitely didn't work. So then we want to try something between um, 0 and 4. Okay, so we can pick any number between 0 and, so let's just grab 3. So this would be 3 plus 12 minus the square root of 3 and see if that's equal to 2. So 3 plus 12 is 15, so the square root of 15, if I grab my calculator, is approximately 3.87298 minus the square root of 3. 
So square root of 3 is 1.73. We want to see if that's equal uh, or is greater than 2. So I'm going to take my answer there and subtract off. So that's 3.87298. Eight three blah 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 minus the one point seven three two zero five blah 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 and I end up with this being approximately two point one four blah 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 and that is in fact greater than two so that worked and then you want to test a third one somewhere greater than four so I'm going to grab I don't know six so I'm going to take the square root of 6 plus 12 minus the square root of 6 and see if that's greater than 2. So 6 plus 12 is 18, so I want to square root 18 and that's going to be a 4.2426 whatever. Um, and then subtract off the square root of 6 which is 2.4494 keeps going. Um, and you can see that 4.2 minus 2.4 is not going to be greater than 2. So 4.24 minus 2.44 is somewhere around a 1.8, 1 1.79, somewhere in there. So that is not going to be greater than 2. So you can see that doesn't work either.